Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by and checking out the card pile. Today we're going to rummage through the card pile and look at some cards that have multiple stars on the same card. So, I like some of those cards, a lot of those cards actually, and I uh, figured I'd show you some that are in my collection. So the first one I have is the 1979 Strikeout Leaders. J.R. Richard for the Houston Astros and Nolan Ryan from the California Angels. When I was a kid, I didn't really get to see Bob Gibson, so J.R. Richard could have been the, the next Bob Gibson, I believe. Unfortunately, he had a stroke in the middle of his career. It never got, we never got to see his full potential as a, as a pitcher, but I think he would have been definitely a Bob Gibson type. And then Nolan Ryan, what can be said about Nolan Ryan that hasn't been said? Probably one of the greatest, well, definitely one of the greatest ever, if not the best ever. Cards in not too bad a shape, but for it being a 1980 tops, it's seen some love. Still a cool card. Then we have the 1964 ERA leaders in the National League, and it's Sandy Kopax and Don Drysdale. Didn't get to see either of these play. They were a little bit before my time, but I do know a little bit about them both. Obviously, uh, great pitchers and Don Drysdale. Mainly what I remember about him is being on the reruns of the Brady Bunch. That's pretty funny. But yeah, this is a cool card. Two of the best pitchers the Dodgers ever had. And then we have the 1966 National League RBI leaders. With the Hammer, Hank Aaron, and Roberto Clemente, and Richie Allen, or as some might call him, Dick Allen. That's a pretty solid card right there. Corners are rough. Little bendage. The back's unmarked, so that's pretty cool. Way off center, but I mean, that's a pretty neat card right there. I like how Clemente's in the middle. He always has uh, he always has them steady eyes. You know, he, he he's thinking even when he's uh, taking pictures. He's thinking. Then we have the 1973 batting leaders with Rod Carew from the Minnesota Twins and Pete Rose from the Cincinnati Reds. It's a pretty good card. It's a little roughed up here and there, but overall, pretty neat. And then we'll take a look at the 1965 home run leaders for the National League. The Say Hey Kid Willie Mays, Willie McCovey, and Billy Williams. Love Billy Williams. Go Cubs. This card's seen some better days. And those better days are going to keep staying in my collection box. Now the next one I have is 1958 Tops, Hank Aaron, and Mickey Mantle. This card's in really good shape. The centering's not too bad, but the surface is really nice. The corners are not too bad at all. Let's see if we can get a better look at them. Little wrinkle right up top there. And then here's the back. The back's definitely off center, more so than the front, I believe. Or maybe they're the same. I don't work at SCG or PSA, so who am I to say? But for my appeal, that's a pretty sharp card. Then next we have the 1962 National League home run hitters. This card is stacked. You've got Hank Aaron, you've got Willie Mays, you've got Orlando Cepeda, you got Frank Robinson, you got Mr. Cub Ernie Banks with a special guest appearance by the print dot. It's got a little slice or something in the card right above there. I wish that was on the case, but that's not the case. Still a pretty sharp card. It's got a little surface damage. The back's real clean, other than being off center. I mean, that is a, I mean, that card is stacked from top to bottom. That's a pretty neat card. And then we have the Power Plus with Ernie Banks and Hank Aaron. It looks sharp as a tack, but I'm pretty sure it's been trimmed. 
if you can see that little rough right here on the edge and then the bottom there is no white and then here's the back little roughage down here on the edge that's probably the Hank Aaron edge yep but still pretty cool looking back clean I mean I guess they centered it if they cut it but I don't know you tell me in the comments if it's uh trimmed or if it was printed like that but nonetheless mr cub and mr home run that's pretty awesome then we have the 1964 national league batting leaders with roberto clemente the hammer and rico cardi i always liked rico cardi uh one of my uh um, to me a semi-star collectible that i use that i collect him, Rusty Staub, you know, people like that. But nonetheless, with him and Clemente and Aaron on this card, that's pretty sharp. The back's not bad, a little, little iffy down through here. But other than that, it's a pretty sweet looking card. Then the last card I have to show is the manager's dream card with Mickey Mantle and Willie Mays. Now this card has definitely had some love. The corner's all rough. Kind of maybe real rough right there. And that's a print mark going across the top. I should take it out, but it's, it's not quite a fold. It's more of a print mark. The corners are busted. I mean, overall in the condition it is, it is a buster. But with Mantle and Mays, even in rough shape, that's still a banger in my book. So, yeah, these are uh, some of the uh, star combos cards I like to have that I'm glad I have. And uh, let me know in the comments what ones are your favorites and tell me what ones you collect of uh, multiple star players on cards. And please like and subscribe and... Uh, Hope you enjoyed it and thanks.